Seemingly every new technology has brought its measure of fear. Some of us are still a little reluctant to use the telephone. Some are annoyed by its constant ring and want to get away from it. But telephone equipment is one of the hottest selling items in consumer electronics today. So there have to be a lot of people somewhere using all those answering machines, beepers, automatic dialers, cordless telephones. And what's next? Something called cellular radio. Here's our report. You're driving during rush hour in the downtown of a major city. You were scheduled to meet with somebody five minutes ago. Should you stop and look for a phone or should you continue driving, hoping the person understands why you didn't call? It's a situation people face every day. About the only solution is a mobile phone. Yes, good morning. How are you today? Just fine. I'm just calling to say I'm on my way in and I should be there in a few minutes for the meeting. Katie Harris works for Ameritech, a company offering a new type of phone service in Chicago. It's called a cellular phone system and it makes it very easy to contact the office. If you need to make the stop that we were talking about yesterday, you can do that now, and then we'll uh, expect you in just a couple minutes. Okay, that's very good. Okay. So I'll do that. Okay. okay. Now, phones okay. have been in cars for years, but they were never convenient. The old technology provided for one antenna in every city, with a dozen channels for the use of thousands of motorists. Sometimes, people would wait half an hour to get on the system. Cellular service is different. Each call goes on a private line. It's now possible because of the computer. The name cellular is from the splitting of a city into cells. Each cell has its own antenna. As you drive between cells, the computer switches between antennas. That keeps the signal strong, and it frees up the antenna you just bypassed for somebody else to use. Thousands of people can drive between cells using their telephones the same as they would in their home or office. Let me tell you how I use it. Uh, I find myself needing to go to meetings downtown Chicago. And when I get ready to go, I'll pick up a stack of messages here, the people that I need to talk to. So on the way downtown, I'm doing business uh, with people that have called me or people that I want to call. People that are using it to commute back and forth. I think uh, some neat examples that, that we've encountered are people who deal on the, with, with businesses on the East Coast and the West Coast. And they like to do business with them early in the morning. So on the way to work, 6.30 to 8 here in Chicago, they can call and the people are in the office, they can get the data, do what they need to. And it's the opposite situation going home at night when they're able to talk to the people on the West Coast. If a large number of people start to use cellular phones, there will always be a way to provide a private line. Cells can be subdivided. Antennas could be placed on every city block. The people at Ameritech anticipate 5,000 customers in Chicago by next October and 100,000 clients within five years. Similar service will be offered by other companies in 30 major cities before 1985. But there's one thing that could limit the popularity of cellular phones, the price. Phones sell for between $1,500 and $3,000, with line charges of $50 to $100 a month. But Barnett says the initial cost of going cellular will come down. The equipment manufacturers would indicate that as their volumes go up, they will be able to come down the experience curve. They would predict that in the future, how far that might be, three to five years potentially, the sets might be in the $1,000 to $1,200 range and potentially could go lower. In the meantime, the phones will be more than a high-priced toy. General Motors plans to make them an option on some of the new Buicks for this fall. Technology moves fast. The mobile phones we find in cars today will fit in your shirt pocket tomorrow. And today's $2,000 mobile phones are already available to amateur radio operators as a part of a two-meter radio that costs scarcely one-tenth that. But as we often observe on the new tech times, the fact something's available doesn't necessarily mean you should buy it, even if you can't afford it.